Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you this look right here and this is the look that I'm going for today because I am going to a birthday party that's in the middle of the day. So I wanted something kind of fun and pretty but nothing too dramatic and crazy. So for this five I went for like a shimmery eye look with a brown liner and then a baby pink lip and sheer shimmery pink blush. So if you want to see how I got this look right here then please keep watching. I'm going to start off with eyeshadow and I'm going to prime my eyes with my MAC Painterly Paint Pot and my damp beauty blender as always and then I'm also going to curl my lashes. So eyes are primed and ready to go and I'm going to go in with my Carly Bible BH palette and this is really beautiful so I'm going to first set the eyes with this kind of neutral tan shade I guess it is with just a big fluffy brush and this is just going to set the eyeshadow primer so the other colors blend a little easier and this is just like a really simple like elementary look like nothing fancy and it's probably gonna look like a hot mess and it's also a little different than um, what I typically do because I'm gonna use a brown liner and not do a wing so it's a little bit softer but kind of um, nice for a event or um, I'm kind of going to a daytime party so it's kind of nice for that because you want to look a little fancier but not um, too done up. So I'm gonna take a dirtier brush and then I'm gonna mix some of these shimmery shades and this one's a little bigger and I'm just gonna buff some of these into the crease so I think I'm gonna mostly do these two and kind of take that back and forth and then just do a little tiny bit of this darker one. Tap off the excess and then just put this into the crease. And there's like a big debate if you can put shadows in the crease or not. Like personally, I like that look, but if you don't, then just use some of these matte shades instead and it will give a similar effect, but I think not as fun and sparkly. And these shadows are like really, really pigmented, so it kind of looks like too much to me right now. So I'm just going to kind of clean off my brush and then keep blending. And then I'm going to go back with that original brush that I had the tan shade on and kind of blend the edges and maybe even use my finger because it's looking really aggressive. But you know what? That happens. And mixing all those different shades really gives kind of a dimensional look. And that makes it look like you spent a lot more time blending on a bunch of eyeshadows than you really did because it's just kind of, you put them on all at once and blended them out. So this is a really simple, like kind of smoke your eye. If you wanted to go more intense with the look, just take these all the way down onto the lid. I tend to just like to keep the color mostly in the crease because I think it kind of brightens up the eyes when there is that little bit of light space there. And if you wanted to go fancy as well, you could take like some of these lighter shimmery shades and put that on the lid, even if you um, dampened your brush with a setting spray and then went in with those and make them even sparklier. But I'm just going really simple today, so that's basically all I'm going to do with eyeshadow, and I'm going to stop messing with it. And now for eyeliner, my go-to is always the Maybelline Unstoppable Eyeliner, and you see me use this like every day in the black color called Onyx, but this is actually the dark brown espresso. So this is going to be a little less harsh than the black, and look a little more natural, but still give a lot of definition, because this is a really dark brown, it's basically black. But I really like these eye pencils because they don't budge at all and they never transfer up onto my eyelid, which is really hard to find, especially in a drugstore eyeliner. And you don't want to take that too far down because it'll make your eye look droopy. So if you even want to just leave that extra space, it will kind of lift your eye a little more. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So eyeliner's done. They're pretty even. And I'm just going to go back in with my eyeshadow brush once again and just kind of blend a little more. Blending a little more is a good thing to do in case you kind of rubbed any off of your finger or anything like that. It just kind of keeps the edges really nice and make sure that everything looks flawless. Okay, so that's starting to look crazy, so we're gonna move on to mascara. And right now I have the YSL The Shock Mascara, and I'm loving this. The brush is super fluffy and you get tons of product on it. And this is also a very wet mascara formula. Mine hasn't dried out that quickly yet anyway. I've only had this like a couple weeks, I think. But um, it really, in like one or two coats, gives you a lot of like volume and length and you can definitely get spidery lashes with this so it's a little bit difficult to work with because it doesn't really separate them all that well but I kind of like the clumpy spidery look. So the eye makeup's done for now and I'm gonna move on to foundation and I'm gonna use my Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. Um, I haven't used this um, in a while actually and I really liked it last time I used it so I don't know why I haven't been using it more but um, I also think this color is gonna be really nice for today. So I'm going to take one pump of that to start out with on my damp beauty blender, of course, and take this onto the T-zone. And I'm definitely going to need another pump, so I'm going to grab another one. And I definitely remember this foundation wearing super well, which is another reason why I'm wearing it today, because I'm going to a daytime birthday party, so um, I know I'm kind of going to be out for quite a while and, you know, probably standing, talking to people, you know, eating, drinking. 
So you want to make sure you have something that's going to last all day and look really nice. This foundation does blend into the skin really nice. I'm going to go in with a third pump just to get a little bit more coverage out of it. And foundation's mostly done. I'm going to go in with concealer now, especially under the eyes. I need it today, and I'm going to use my favorite Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Eye, whatever this is called. It's the one with a super long name. But this is my favorite under eye concealer. And that foundation was a little um, dark for me, so now this concealer looks really light. So I'm going to take um, a little extra down the center of my face just to kind of even it out. And then another thing I'm going to do today, which I don't normally do, is apply concealer on a couple blemishes I have. Um, I have this Glossier Stretch Concealer, which I've been kind of liking for this because it kind of is really creamy and blends into the skin. And this one disgusting zit on my chin, or on my cheek, I mean, is just not going away. It was like a really deep under the skin one, and it like never came to a head, and it's just not healing. So I'm going to put a little bit there, and then also on this other hideous blemish on my neck. So once that's on, I'm going to blend back over everything with my damp beauty blender. And on these blemishes, I'm just going to really gently blend them in because I don't want to take away the coverage, but I just want the edges to be blended so that it doesn't look like a bright, you know, light colored circle around my blemish because that just draws even more attention to them. And then I'll just kind of blend in the concealer on the middle of my face with the beauty blender as well. And then I'll probably use my finger to blend out my under eye concealer because for me that just works the best. And then I kind of just take the beauty blender to correct any like edges that aren't fully blended. Concealer is mostly blended in and that's a really good tip for if your foundation is ever slightly too dark. Definitely use um, a lighter concealer and take it all through the center of your face where I put it. And also under the eyes because that just kind of balances out the face and brightens everything up. And this was just a little too dark for me, so I did blend it down my neck um, and tried to get it to blend into my natural skin color, but hopefully when I set it, um, that will kind of lighten it up a little bit too because my powder is kind of lighter. So first I'm going to set the under eyes with my Laura Mercier translucent powder and just tap a little of that into the lid as always and take my beauty blender to pick it up and then just press that under the eyes. Under eyes are set and I'm going to go in and set the rest of the face with my Osmosis Color Mineral Pressed Base in Fair. I'm going to take that on my La Mer powder brush, but any like setting powder that you like is fine. This is just one of my favorites at the moment. And this is in shade Fair, so it's a little lighter, so it'll kind of help this foundation match a little better. The face is set, but before we move on to bronzer, I'm going to go back in with a little more mascara because this is for a party look, so I want to have really dramatic lashes. And you can just never have too much mascara. And I also put on a little bit more mascara to stall because I haven't decided which bronzer um, I'm going to use today. So, hmm, I don't know. I have three here that I'm deciding between, and I really want kind of like a warm bronzer today. Um... Okay, I think I'm going to try something a little different, and this is the NYX Matte Bronzer. Oh, am I? Maybe I'll layer two. So I'm going to start out with this, and I have a smaller, like, dense brush here. And I'm just going to pick a little bit up, tap off the excess here. That kind of got a lot. And I'm going to start this in my cheekbones just to kind of chisel a little more. And then maybe to warm it up, I'll go in with a different one. But we'll see how this one looks on its own. So that's like really aggressively dark. That's why I kind of stay away from this one. Um, I'm going to blend it out with my dual fiber brush after this though. And since this is matte, I'm also going to take my NARS Eda brush and take a little bit of this bronzer and lightly dust down the sides of my nose to give that little bit of definition. And then to blend out the harsh bronzer, I'm just going to take this duo fiber brush I have. And this, I mean, has some bronzer left over it from earlier this week, but I'm just going to use this to Try to blend it in a little more and blend it up onto my whole cheek to keep it from looking too dramatic like a dark stripe of bronzer on my cheek, but I'm kind of going for the dark stri stripe of bronzer on the cheek today. Sometimes, you know, that's just the look. Taking the bronzer ever so lightly on this duo fiber brush up onto my forehead to kind of add a little color there as well. This is very dark for my skin, this NYX bronzer, so I'm just taking the tiniest bit and I'm also going to take it down my neck to kind of bronze up, especially since I'm wearing kind of a cold shoulder top to kind of make sure it blends. You can blend it all the way down. Just put it everywhere. More bronzer, the merrier. Okay, now that we got carried away with the bronzer, it's time to go in with blush and try to salvage this. And I'm going to be using this ColorGirl True Blend blush. And this is in the shade 100 Light Rose. There it is. So I'm just taking this on my usual MAC 168 brush and putting this on the cheeks. And since this is a shimmery mineral blush, I'm gonna skip highlighter today and just do bronzer and blush. 
Some days you feel like, you know, dousing your whole face in highlighter, putting it on your nose, your forehead, your cheeks, your chin, everywhere. And then some days you just don't. So today's one of those days. And since this, bron this blush, I mean, is very like shimmery and sheeny, I think it makes it easier to get away with no highlighter because it's not like a totally matte cheek look. This is an amazing drugstore blush. I was like not expecting it to be, but I think I saw Nikki Tutorials using it and that's where I got the idea because she's very fair like I am. And this is just beautiful. Like I used it nonstop all through the, I think springtime and early summer. And then I kind of got away from it because I kind of went back into a matte blush phase, but now I'm back in the shimmer blush phase and I'm so glad I broke this blush out today. For brows, I'm going to go in with my current favorite brow product and that is the Clinique Super Fine Liner for Brows. And I have this in the shade number two, Soft Brown. And I'm just going to fill these in. With eyebrows mostly filled in, I'm going to go in with my Glossier Boy Brow in brown just to set them. And to finish off the eyes, I'm going to go in with my Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara and add some mascara to the bottom lashes. And then to highlight, I'm going to go back to my Carly Bible palette, palette and take this lightest one here just to highlight the inner corner. And that finishes off the eye look. If you are a sophisticated makeup artist, then this eye look is probably like appalling you right now. Like mixing a bunch of random shimmery shades in the crease is just like not a good practice. It usually can look like a hot mess. So definitely be careful with this. Um, you might think my eyes look like a hot mess, but I kind of like the like all over shimmery kind of messy glittery pretty look. So that's what I went for today. So that's the finished eye look. But to finish off the entire look, I'm going to go in with my lip products and I'm going to use this Frankie Rose lip liner in number 101 Apricot just to line the lip. And I lined the lip and filled the entire lip in. And the only reason I did that is because I'm going to go in with my YSL. These are the Rouge Volupt lipsticks. This is in the shade number one, which is their really pretty like light ballerina pink. But I find that this lipstick, if I put it on by itself, it just does not sit right and it doesn't like really apply that easily. It kind of looks patchy on the lips. So I always go in with a lip liner first, but this lipstick does feel very moisturizing. It's like a moisturizing satin finish. It's not sheer, it's definitely very pigmented, but it just kind of gives you that like moist feeling to your lips. Okay, this is the finished look for the birthday party vibe. I'm gonna head out to that birthday party, but I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this like easy way to make a shimmery eye. And I hope you enjoyed kind of the brown liner, which is a little different, but it's a great alternative. Brown liner looks great on every eye color and the light pink lip and kind of shimmery pink blush just make this a really easy, pretty kind of daytime party look. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.